Practice tests are an important step for any preparation for an exam. You can agree with me that most of the questions that are offered in most textbooks are not sufficient enough uh, to prepare you for the final examination. So most people go to online sites in order to supplement and assess themselves. Now on the online platforms, you've got two categories. You've got the free questions. And some of these sites, sometimes they have answers, sometimes they don't. And at most times, you might not necessarily be able to trust the answers that they provide. On the other hand, you've got the paid platforms that ask you to pay a certain amount, whether it's a subscription on a monthly basis or it's a one-time payment to gain access to their platform. In this video, I am going to be reviewing Exams Digest, who are an online platform that offers practice questions for some of the most common certifications on the market. For the record, this video is not sponsored by Exams Digest. We actually paid our own subscription in order to gain access to their platform. However, we reached out to the team at Exams Digest uh, to try and see if we could get a discount uh, for our viewers. And if you use the code on the screen below, or I'll also put it in the description, Network Hustle 30, you get an additional 30% discount. If you use the code on the screen, you get an additional 30% discount. So to kick off this review, we're going to start with cost because most people are sensitive on price. Now, most of the platforms on the market at the present moment charge at least $99 per certification. And I'm sure you're interested to know how much Exam Digest charges. At the time of this recording, They've got two licenses. They've got the standard license, which is $24.99. And that gives you access to over 13 certifications. Uh, it's a one-time lifetime access payment. And it comes with any future updates that they would make on their site. Their extended license just gives you an additional access to PDF books of the same certification. So in terms of cost, with Exams Digest for $24.99, you're getting access to over 13 certifications compared to $99 uh, per certification that some of the players on the market are charging. Please let us know in the comments below uh, which platforms are you using for exam practice and how much are you paying uh, for that platform. Uh, please let us know which sites you're using for your platform and how much you are paying for that platform. Now, what do you get for that amount? What questions and what is covered? Exams Digest offer 13 of the most in-demand certifications on the market at the moment. So you're looking at CompTIA A+, Network+. Plus. Uh, on the Cisco side, you got CCNA. I think CCNP is coming soon. It's not yet on the platform at the time of this recording. You have AWS, you got Azure, Microsoft certifications, and there's some actually, there are some Google certifications uh, that are also offered on the platform. So if you are looking for any of these certifications, then Exams Digest has practice exams for those. Now, coming to the question types that are basically offered on the platform. Now, multiple choice questions are kind of a given. Most of the exams uh, on the market offer multiple choice questions. They also offer uh, drag and drop uh, questions as well. As you can basically see on the screen, uh, they've got quizzes for different topics. So you select the certification, you go to the different topic, and then you go through a particular quiz. Now there's one type of question that caught my attention on their platform. And this is where they ask you to type the command. And it's mainly on the Cisco certifications. Now this type of question requires you to do two things. The first one is you're forced to go to the textbook to be able to try and find the command that generates the output, or you're forced to go to the actual device to do the same. And that process of referring to external material kind of helps in the learning process because the whole objective of practice tests is to number one, build your confidence, and number two, to help you um, learn areas of weaknesses so that you can turn them into strengths. 
And I feel like this type of question was one of those questions that basically help. Now, the fourth one or the fourth type of question, which is nothing to do with any examination, is they have added interview questions. Now, this is a common question that I get for most people. How do I prepare for an interview? Um, the guys at Exam Digest have gone a step further and they've given you interview questions to help you practice. And I feel some of the questions are very uh, relevant. Um, so have a look at their interview questions and you know, help them, use them to help prepare yourself towards the interview. In the next coming weeks, I'm going to be doing live sessions where I'm going to be covering some of these questions to be able to help you prepare yourself. Now, how do you access Exams Digest content? They, their content is accessed via web. And yes, it might not seem like a big issue, but in the past, most of the exam practice software were applications that needed to be installed on your PC. And this meant that if you're not, if you didn't have access to your computer, you would not have access to your practice exams. Or for some people who have organizations that are sensitive on installing software, you could not install software on corporate devices. But now with the Exams Digest, you can access wherever you've got a web browser uh, and you can access it both on your laptop and on your mobile device, as you can basically see on the screen. And for those who pay an additional $10, you've got access to the PDF format uh, so that you can print and carry the copy with you wherever you go. Now, coming to the areas of improvement. For most of us, we have been accustomed to getting um, a scorecard when you finish your test, which kind of tells you which topics you did well and which topics you need to improve on. At the present moment, that feature is not available on Exams Digest. Also, you, you cannot select topics so that you can get questions from just respective topics that you feel you need to improve on, right? So for me, those are features that are kind of important, you know, when you're going through assessment. So that's an area of, of improvement. I feel that there is room for improvement in terms of the number of questions that are offered in their databases. Yes, they offer over 13 certifications, but I feel like there's a need for more questions per certification. And what am I referring to? Most of the times when you're doing practice tests, you don't want to be getting the same question over and over again, because the moment you get the answer correct, the more the question is repeated, you really don't get much value in it. If you have more questions that you haven't encountered before, it kind of keeps you on, on check and provides more assessment. So I feel like more questions are required. Uh, this is probably a simple thing. I mean, adding more questions, I'm sure it's something that is in their pipeline. So there you have it, folk. That is Exams Digest for you. Uh, they have a seven-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to give them a try, uh, you can pay. And if you don't like the content, you get your money back. Please just read the terms and conditions in being able to get your refund. Yes. And also, Network Plus, at the present moment, is free of charge. So if you want to go through their site without making any financial commitment, you can go through their Network Plus certification and that gives you a, a picture of what kind of questions you are likely going to encounter and you can be able to assess the platform. Uh, please let us know in the comments below if you have taken the time to go through their website. Let us know what you like, what you don't like, and what areas you think they are able to improve on. Coming to the reviews from the different people who have used their sites, they seem to have pretty good reviews. A lot of people have used their content and some have gone ahead and passed the exam. I haven't had a chance to write an exam in the recent past, so I'm not so sure. But as you can see with the comments on the screen, there are people who feel that they found value in their content. But please let us know what you think about the site and where do you think they need to be able to improve on. I hope you found value in this video. I want to thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.